Hey guys, I just want to take a moment and show you some of my target finds today and also um, a little project that I'm working on for the bunk part of our RV. I actually saw this on the Grand Design 265 uh, Facebook group and I will link below and give credit to whoever posted it because I cannot remember her name at the moment. Um, it might work in other RVs uh, just depending on the closet size and depth but uh, let me walk you over here and I'll show you. Alright, these are the little tubs that I'm going to put in the closet of the well, it's a bunk house, but <laughs> you know, it's just part of the living room. So this is the the containers I'm gonna use in the bunk closet. They're from Target. They are room essential three drawer cart. This is the size, and I will put a little pop-up of the size of the closet. But right now, right now Target has some of their kids pillow fort stuff on sale. Now my kids are teens, um, but I still have no problem buying <laughs> kids stuff, okay? Because it does not look like kids stuff. All right, these, their bunks are full size, but these are the twin size covers which will you know make sure it doesn't hang down real far on the bunk but they are usually $50 well $49.99 and they were on clearance for $14.99 all right what you're supposed to do is go ahead and put one set already in the closet so that's what I'm gonna do right now now we're going to pop off the top section of this one of the second one to get some muscle in here. <laughs> Almost forgot you need to pop the top off of the complete set that you put in. Okay, all right, this is the top and this is what you'll have left. You'll have a two unit left that you can put this top back on. And this can actually fit in the other storage area of the RV. If you have a 265, it fits in the butthole just fine. What we did is we took the top of the other set and put it with the three-piece set. Now we have a tall four-piece set. It doesn't have the drawers in it right now, but... Um, so this was the original. One, two, three. And then we took this off of the other now, side. Now we took the closet rod out of the closet. We're wedging these in here. For us, for our boys, it's just easier to have drawers than it is hang up stuff. So this is what you got. We'll put the drawers in. because the drawer was hitting the latch part, this little part right there, of the cabinet is he took the wheels off the bottom of the unit and used two half inch. half inch pieces of plywood to lift the unit up. That clears it to where it doesn't, the drawer doesn't bump the lip of the closet. And the top drawer um, doesn't bump the lip, not the lip, but doesn't bump the bracket. So, so now you do, that one's barely, but it's enough. Yeah. And then you have four drawers instead of a hanging closet, which works a lot, a lot better for our boys. Real quick, while we're talking about the bunks, when you're on the top bunk, there's nowhere to put things. <laughs> and so we uh, went to Ikea looking for something that we could mount to the wall where it could be used for storage in the bunk. But when we got it back, it was a little too long to mount to the wall, so I'll show you what we did. All right, these are the little containers from Ikea. It's a little rack system, and we have just screwed it right into the top bunk. So that way there is some storage for foam. Uh, I think these could even um, hold drinks, but, um, 
think this is what what they are anyway it's a system it came with these and the little clips but we had to buy that separate we also put one on the bottom bunk and again it was, the bar was too long for us to do on the wall so we um, I actually turned this around and it's not screwed in because of how this is set up uh, we could have put it on the head of the bed but we um, just felt like that would get in the way of sleeping so um, I just put it down here did the thing backwards used the clips to just kind of drape it there and it gives a little storage but it can be pushed out of the way Today, you're not tomorrow.